Whatever you say, he says the same thing. Even if you don't color it in, he'll say, what a lovely family home. And check out my lovely family home. Pink and yellow. Yellow car, yellow door, yellow mailbox. Pretty cool. And if you don't color in the picture, all this would be uh, tones of, of gray. Gray, gray and black. I mean, nothing there. Grayscale. I think with that... What would have made this scene a little bit cooler is if there was an actual doghouse on the yard. Are you okay, son? No! What are you people doing in my house? Cheryl! Easy there. This isn't your house. Some trouble, honey? No, Lucy. This man here is just a little confused. This is my house! Well, I don't see how that can be the case. We've been here nearly 14 years. Sure you got the right address? Who was that? That was our daughter, Katie. You're in a bad way, son, getting yourself all worked up. Are you okay? No, I am not okay! I was in a car accident! My daughter is gone! And you people are in my house! This is all wrong! You're starting to make a scene. Starting. This doesn't make sense. Not at all. Cheryl! You are upsetting my wife. Get the hell out of my house! It's my house! It's my damn house! Cheryl! And just like with other scenes, the, these, this meeting with the, the couple can also vary depending on your profile. They might say different things. Harry will do different things. Harry? There are people in my house. I think they've got Cheryl. Okay, calm down, Harry. It's okay, Mike. I've got this covered. You know him? You're part of this? Hold up. You saw my license. This is my home. Can I see that license again? I know the stewards. They don't have your daughter. They're school teachers. Let's me and you head to the police station. We can sort this out. Shouldn't have trusted you. Damn cops. Don't say anything you're gonna regret later. I'm on your side, Mr. Mason. Come with me and we'll make this right. You know what's funny? I've been a cop in this town for 20 years. Before that, I used to ride around in my daddy's patrol car, so I know the town, know the people. But even though there isn't a doghouse in front of Harry's home, there is one if you take a peek outside this window right here. You see the little yellow house? It looks kind of like a doghouse. Why are we the only car on the road? No one's sane out driving tonight. Sorry, I didn't mean to... It's okay. What is with all this snow? Who knows? We only covered basic meteorology in the academy. Hell, we didn't hear about this till it was happening. Barely had time to close off the major highways. It's like the whole town was being punished. It's only weather. Sure. You're very restless back there, Mr. Mason. Anything you want to tell me? Restless? Of course I'm restless. I'm worried about my daughter. She's seven and she's out there in this blizzard. Sorry, I didn't mean to... Just hurry up and get us to the station. And she asked that because I was fiddling with the windows and moving back and forth in my seat. If you stay still... Damn, can't even see the road. The conversation they have is a little I'm bit different. I'm going to see exactly where we are. Stay put. Yeah, she's not coming back, so mm, time to leave. Where's she gone? 
in this glove compartment is the second memento. Some cigarettes. Heading away. And if you want to leave the car, you either exit through the driver's door or the passenger side door. You can't leave through the back doors. And Sybil just disappeared. Let me go back over here. <laughs> wow, the snow really came down behind us. On the cop car is a number for the Silent Hill Police Department. This number was also seen on that 911 poster back in the fir tree garage slash gas station. might help if I actually dialed the correct number. 6358. Silent Hill Police Station, Desk Sergeant Thompson, how can we help? My daughter is missing. Am I speaking with Mr. Mason? Uh, yes. Mr. Mason, I have an ATL against your name from Officer Sybil Bennett. Where are you, Mr. Mason? If you want us to find your daughter, you need to work with us. Tell me where you are. No. <laughs> no. Wow, he's being kind of a dick to the police. No wonder they don't want to help him. pick up. I need you. I'm at a party in the woods, but I'm feeling uncomfortable. I need you to come pick me up. Once this echo message is uh, revealed, there is an another number you can call for the State Forestry Department. the office of the state forestry department due to the current severe weather warning this office is closed members of the public are advised to avoid travel to state parks and forests until the warning is lifted in event of an emergency please contact local emergency services and we're not going to follow his warning we are just going to go into the woods 